Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you one Laravel security trick based on a tweet by Steven Reese Carter. He's an awesome guy doing the newsletter called Laravel Security in Depth. So I totally recommend you to subscribe to that and other content on Twitter and elsewhere that Steven has published. And this time in particular, he published this tip, how to protect your API keys, external API keys, like for example, for Stripe or anything to avoid publishing the production keys in non-production environment. So live keys by Stripe or Slack or whatever is your third party API, the live keys should be only on the live server and only senior people would even know those keys. Regular junior developers wouldn't even see those keys anywhere in the repository or on their local computer anywhere. So everyone works with staging keys, with testing keys, in so-called sandbox mode or testing mode, and only the person responsible for deployment puts the live keys on the live server in .env file of that server. But how do you ensure it is the case? How do you check if the live keys are not in somewhere's server or on someone's local computer? So what Steven suggests here is based on example of Stripe, for example, let me actually zoom it in a bit. Stripe gives two sets of keys, production and testing. So production keys is prefixed with live. So public key live and secret key live from what I remember they are called and then public key test and secret key test. So those should be used locally or on testing environment or staging environment and those should be only on the live server. So what Steven is suggesting is in your app service provider or in any service provider, you check if the app is not in production, but the keys are not from testing environment, then you just throw an exception. In here, you may log it somewhere, send an email to admin, like a warning someone is using live keys, and that's not supposed to be that way, something like that. But generally, the trick is when the app is loaded in App Service Provider, you check the environment and the keys. And for different APIs, for different third-party providers, that logic would be different. Not every provider would start with SK test or something like that. So I've replicated it in another example. In one of my project, I'm using Laravel Cashier with Paddle. Paddle is an alternative to Stripe. Also payment provider works in a different way. And there is Laravel Cashier for Stripe and for Paddle separately. But the logic is the same. There's a sandbox mode and live mode. And here in my cashier config, I have sandbox true or false. And by default, it is false, which means by default, you're working in live environment unless you override it in .env file, which is exactly what I did locally in my computer. I have paddle sandbox true. And then also the settings for paddle are from testing environment. But in app service provider, what I can do to check that is similarly how Steven is suggesting we take the value from the config and then check if it's not in production, if my app is not in production and the keys are not from sandbox, we throw an exception. Otherwise, we just load the page. In my case, I just put in DD here because I don't really care how that page is loaded then. I just wanted to show the success message and that app is production is defined by another value in .env, which is app env. And by default, it is local. So if I launch the application homepage in that way, I see success message. Page can be loaded safely now. But if I set this paddle sandbox to false or remove that in total, and let's do exactly that. I refresh the page and the page should throw an exception. Exactly. Error cashier should be in sandbox mode. So that's what developer would see on their local computer or staging server if live keys are used where they're not supposed to be used. So that's it, a quick security tip. Again, I recommend everything that Steven is publishing on Laravel security in depth. I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.